So today's video, we are going to discuss the Marquardt method. And this is lecture 21 and I am Dr. Ranjan Ganguly. So we have seen that the Newton method works very well when we are near the optimal point of a function. And this also happens because the Hessian matrix is typically positive definite or at least positive semi-definite near the optimal point. Now, if we look at the second method, the steepest descent method, which is sometime also known as the Cauchy method, it provides a rapid decrease in the function in the first few steps, and then it becomes stuck near the optimal point. So these two methods have to disparate behavior patterns. The Newton method works close to the optimal point and the steepest descent or Cauchy's method works well when you are far away from the optimal point. So one of the things one could do is to combine or hybridize these methods and that's what Marquardt did and came up with this Marquardt modification. Now, returning back to the steepest descent method, we know that the negative of the gradient, that is minus C, represents the direction of maximum decrease of the function. So essentially, Marquardt created a search direction which combines the search direction of the steepest descent method and the Newton method. So if you take a close look at the particular search direction here, you can see that when lambda is equal to zero, this will become the Newton method. And when lambda is very large, then this lambda i is much larger than h, and therefore it becomes a steepest descent type of method which are fixed with a fixed step size. So we are going to explore this particular search direction in more detail. And of course, you know from our proof of the Newton method that this search direction is going to satisfy the steepest descent direction if h plus lambda i is a positive definite matrix. So let's look at the Marquardt search direction. And when we look at this search direction, we can see that it can be controlled by this parameter lambda. Now let's consider two extreme cases to get a picture of this method. If lambda is very large, this dk is going to be such that the Hessian matrix is going to be very small and therefore the lambda i term is going to dominate. And then you will have this value here. And then you get this minus one by lambda into ck. Now comparing this with the steepest descent method, Essentially, this is the steepest descent method with step size one by lambda. So alpha k is one by lambda. So recall the steepest descent method was dk is minus ck. And now you have this one by lambda term here. And the fact is that typically you start this algorithm with a large value of lambda. So you will start with a small step size because when lambda is large, one by lambda is going to be small. So you are going to start with the small step size and you are going to progressively increase the step size. Now let's look at the second case where lambda tends to zero. And if lambda tends to zero, this h plus lambda i term here, the h term is going to dominate and therefore we discard this term lambda i and therefore you get the Newton method here. And again, here the step size is one. So this is the classical Newton method. So what Marquardt method does it is that it starts with a large value of lambda and reduces it as you go on. So the method basically starts with the steepest descent type of method. And as the lambda value keeps going down, the step sizes keep going up and this method then metamorphoses into the Newton method as lambda tends towards zero. So let us write this method out in a form which can be used for programming. 
So essentially we start with the starting design x0, a small number epsilon such as 10 to the power minus 8. We start with k0 and we start a, with a value of lambda such as 10,000. So lambda 0 is 10,000 and this is a large constant number. Now the first thing is that you do is to calculate the gradient vector and if the norm of the gradient vector is less than the epsilon you have selected then you stop else you continue with this method. You calculate the Hessian matrix so this is exactly similar to the Newton method. The next step is you calculate dk the search direction by using minus hk plus lambda ki inverse into gradient vector ck. Now if you are interested you can also solve this as a linear system by taking the H matrix to the left hand side. So once you have done that you have obtained this particular search direction then there are two possibilities. The first possibility is that your function value at the next point which is xk plus dk has decreased from your current point. In that case you go toward the Newton method where the Newton method is lambda k plus 1 is equal to half of lambda k. So essentially you reduce the lambda value and you update the k value to k is k plus 1. The second situation is that you do not have this less than to be correct. That means your search direction did not actually reduce the objective function value. In which case you go toward the steepest descent method and therefore you take lambda k plus 1 is twice lambda k and you update the value of k is equal to k plus 1. And then you go back to bullet 2 of the previous slide where you calculated the gradient vector and then take the norm of the gradient vector and proceed. So essentially this method at each step decides whether it should be more of a Newton method or it should be more of a steepest descent method. Now, one of the reasons Marquardt method is there in most books is that it is a typical hybrid method which combines two methods. And in this case, we know that steepest descent has certain good properties and the Newton method has certain good properties. And if we combine these methods, then we may get a better method. Now, whenever you create some hybrid method such as the one here, you need to test it by performing a plethora of numerical experiments on different test functions. And there are many test functions out there which you can find if you search Google. So if you search for typical test functions used in optimization, you will find many such functions and they are also there in many books. And therefore, whenever you propose a method, you have to check all these cases and see if the method actually performs well. So now let us go back and look at the Marquardt search direction and see some of the things here. Now we see that this particular step hk plus lambda ki is a very interesting step because what you are doing is you are adding this unit matrix to the Hessian matrix and lambda by being a large value is going to ensure that this complete matrix becomes positive definite which we have seen in the case of the Newton method before that essentially you are adding a diagonal matrix here with very large terms. So the possibility of the non-positive definite edge matrix which can happen when you are far from the minimum point is somewhat mitigated. Now when you are closer to the actual optimal point, the Hessian may or may not be positive definite. In most cases it is going to be positive definite. But in some case if it is not positive definite you can always use some safeguard technique like we discussed in the previous lecture where you add a term here to the particular diagonal component which has become negative. So essentially you take the modulus of that component and you change its sign. Now the Marquardt method is also part of a set of methods known as the trust region method. Now the trust region method do not use a line search but move within a region of trust. And this region of trust around a current point is such that the function approximation is valid here. So you can see in the particular 
search direction created by the Marquardt method, when you start with a large value of lambda, you are essentially taking very small step size with the steepest descent method. And generally, if you take a very small step size with the steepest descent method, you will converge or at least start moving towards the optimal solution. As you start moving toward the optimal solution into the space where the Newton method gets valid, you start switching to the Newton search direction and you progressively start bringing down the value of lambda. Therefore, you take larger and larger steps. So this is something which is very interesting and there are a set of methods known as the trust region methods, which are an alternative to the line search methods. And in these methods, essentially you create a region of trust around a given point and you try to make sure that you are moving within this region of trust. And in that process, you do not have to do a line search, which can be quite expensive in many cases. So again, just to mention, some people also call this method the Lavenberg Marquardt method, and it's often used in least square functions. And this is a very easy method to code. And if you have already written a code for the Newton method and for the steepest descent method, then it's quite easy to write a code for the Marquardt method. Of course, the negative side here is that the Hessian matrix needs to be calculated at each K, and that is going to be computationally quite expensive. So that is a negative part about this particular method. But if you are dealing with some test functions where you have the functions there in a closed form, then you can certainly use this method. So again, I will culminate this video here. And in the next video, we will start looking at the quasi Newton methods.